Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X. The finale of Let's Play Mega Man X, I should say, because all that's left now is to go after Sigma. We defeated all eight Mavericks twice now. And all that's left is the big man himself. Yeah, I was trying to... There we go. Sigma! Let's take him on. Really haunting uh, level theme. Yeah, there's really not much to this level, just this t this uh, towering shaft. Those uh, bugs that climb out of those holes. You can basically uh, recharge your sub tanks here using uh, armored armadillo's charged weapon. And here's Sigma. Welcome. I see you managed to get here by yourself. Very impressive. I could destroy you, but I would not rob my pet of that pleasure. He knows how to deal with betrayers. Should you live, I will be waiting for you. Don't disappoint me, X. And it's like Volgoner or whatever the uh, wolf thing's name is. Basically, uh, wall uh, climbing is your friend here. Uh -oh. Basically, like a more compact version of the uh, the wolves from uh, Woodman stage in Mega Man 2. And that's. Going as planned. Yeah, the high ground is basically your friend in this these battles. I'm actually having more difficulty with him than I expect I have with Sigma, but we'll see for sure. Excellent job, X. I see why Zero counted on you. You are almost as good a hunter as I was. But, the time of your destruction has arrived. You shall regret ever having defied me. And he draws his lightsaber. Alrighty. It's a really, uh, simple way of fighting Sigma. It's basically just, to uh, get him to, uh, resort to uh, wall jumping and shooting him while in transition because he uses his, the energy sword in his hand to deflect uh, your uh, attacks. I'm sure he has other attacks too, but I've been using this strategy for so long that I don't really ever see much of his other moveset. Kind of underwhelming in a in a sense. I screwed up there. But yeah, you just keep this up. And Sigma will fall. He's got less than a quarter to go. This charge shot doesn't really do any extra damage, but it's a wider shot, so it's easier to hit him. Yeah, alright, one more time. Got him. And that's the game, right? Right? Wrong. Now it's time for the true final battle. Sigma basically combined with his dog to create this, uh, powered up form in the background there. And he's weak to uh, armored armadillo's weapon. Ah, crap. That's, uh, yee. Okay. Was not counting on resorting to that so soon. 
but basically only the fully charged X Buster or Armored Armadillo's weapon can damage Sigma in this form. Basically, wait for the uh, eyes to flash on the the dog head or the wolf head, whatever, and that signifies when he's going to use a uh, one of two uh, attacks from the dog's mouth. There, either those uh, energy blasts, or it's going to be a uh, well, the energy blasts or that time, or the fire here. And these uh, floating claw things can. Uh, can squish you. Well, I mean, I don't think they can instant kill you or anything, but they uh, definitely they're spiked and they damage you if they hit you. It's pretty straightforward, but you know, it's a little hard to predict at times, so it's basically a reaction game. Yeah, and that's so well. But yeah, we're almost there. And the flamethrower. Basically just watch out for the energy attacks. One more attack should finish the job. And the game is won. Sigma has been defeated. Zero is avenged. The humans are saved. No, it's not possible. I'm a Reploid. I can't be destroyed by you. Why, X? Why have you done this to us? Without the humans, my Reploid brothers could have ushered in a new age. Well, you'll have to try again in Mega Man X2 or something. Here goes Sigma's Fortress, a flying island and sinking into the ocean, only to explode. The war has ended for now, and peace has been restored. But those who sacrifice themselves for the victory will never return. So you say. Somehow I, uh, have reason to doubt that. Exhausted, X gazes at the destruction he helped cause, and wonders why he chose to fight. Was there another way? Standing on the cliff, the answer seemed to escape him. He only knows that he'll ha he'll fight the Mavericks again before he finds his answer. How long will he keep on fighting? How long will his pain last? Maybe only the X-Buster on his hand knows for sure. It's basically the way all these games end, or at least the first, like, three or four, if you play as X. It's always like, why am I fighting? What am I fighting for? You know, why must I destroy my fellow Reploids? Even if, why do they have to become Mavericks? You know, so on and so forth. Which, I mean, it's a... I mean, it's a good... You know, I mean, it's... It's, uh, I mean, it's very, it's good that he thinks about that kind of stuff, but it's really repetitive. And basically, we have the cast of all the, all the names of the, uh, the enemies in the game, and... Utuboros, that's the name of that weird, uh, snaky, uh, sea serpent thing. And Mega Man X is running down the rebu the rebuilt highway. It's a nice, uh... I guess uh, the world is a peaceful place now. He's, the damage is being repaired. The world is a better place for it. The gallery stage, which one is that? We have the tower stage. The forest stage. And then 
the Sigma stage. Bow Spider, Rangda, Bangda, D Rex, and Velga Guard Godder. Or something like that. That that last one is the uh, that Sigma's pet dog wolf thing. And we got the Mavericks. The original eight for Mega Man X. But yeah, this is one of my favorite games for the Super Nintendo right here, Mega Man X. It's my favorite of the X series too, actually. I feel like they did a great job with the first one. They had the right blend of challenge and uh, and uh, just yeah, you know, it wasn't too hard, but it wasn't too easy. And, you know, it still remains that way. Obviously, I mean, I would have been able to beat this game without dying if, if it were too easy. I mean, I like X2 and X3 and X4 to varying degrees. X5 I only played once and I didn't really care enough about it to really feel like playing it again. I might give it another try someday, but for right now I'm content with just the earlier games. X6 I tried that once and like I was saying in a previous video, I just could not do anything beyond get zero back basically. Spoilers, zero does come back. Uh, one of the plot points of X2, and we have the credits, and this is kind of an up. This is actually a pretty upbeat, theme, upbeat theme. It's like I totally forget this theme is even in the game half the time. But yeah, this. If you haven't played Mega Man X before, I, I recommend it. It's, it's a great game. It's, like I said, it's one of my favorite games for the Super Nintendo. You know, it ranks up there with Super Mario World and, you know, the Final Fantasy games for the Super Nintendo Generation and Chrono Trigger. Or Chrono Trigger, with however you want to pronounce it. You know, it's just an you know, it's just a great game. You know, Capcom at, you know, one of their high, high points in the 16-bit era. You know, it's just, it's a fun game. It's great. You know, they're thanking me for playing. I'm thanking you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys tuning in for this. This little Let's Play side project here. Presented by Capcom. But yeah, it's... Again, I can't recommend it enough. I don't know what the odds are of me doing a Let's Play of X2. I'm not really that great at that game, but I suppose if I put enough practice in, I might be able to pull something off. I still want to show you guys the Hadouken thing. I gotta look that up on GameFAQs or someplace to, or look it up on YouTube. And ooh, something's going on. You have won a temporary victory, X. What you destroyed was only a temporary body. My spirit remains intact. Uh oh, Sigma's gonna return. In time, I will find other bodies strong enough to do my bidding, and I will return. I shall see you soon, X. Very soon. And on that ominous note, I say, I say this is enough for uh, Let's Play Mega Man X. So I will see you guys in my next project. I've already decided what my next main LP is going to be. It may be underway by the time this video gets up. I haven't decided yet. I haven't started it yet as of this recording, but that'll happen soon enough, I'm sure. So thank you guys very much for watching this, and I will see you guys next time.